Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name is Joni Young if you're new here. Thank you all for joining me today for this painting tutorial of a bridge with a field of bachelor button flowers in the foreground uh, with a C in the back of course. So we're working on an 11 by 14 double prime and stretched canvas today. I've got the following colors, light blue violet, cobalt blue, Mars black, titanium white, Hooker's Green Hue, Light Olive Green, Neon Yellow Cool, and Neon Pink. I'll have a full list of all these colors below the video in the description box. I'm just going to wet my canvas down a little bit so it makes it easier to blend my acrylics. And then we'll come in and begin paint the whole canvas this gray. Now you can use a gray that's a little bit lighter or darker than this. This is a slate gray. And of course you can just make it with a little bit of black and white. Now that the canvas is all dry, we can come in and start adding uh, the first layers of our sky. I want to create a really soft peachy pinky coral uh, sunset um, with a little bit of blue violet for uh, some nice complementary shades and shadows for the clouds. So the first brush I'm going to be using is a number 30 filbert brush. I'm going to go ahead and just get it a little bit wet, dry off any drips. And I'm going to take a little bit of my white and both yellow and pink. And then I'm just going to start creating some little swirls like this. And then I'm going to pull it across where we're going to have a little bit of the water visible below. So once you get a basic shape, that you want for your sky, you can start to just exaggerate a little bit more and build onto it. So I'm just loading my brush up again. And I'm gonna come around and follow those lines. Sometimes letting a little bit more of the pink come out of the brush and then sometimes picking up a little bit more of the yellow. I'm gonna come off the top right corner and pull like that. Just added a little bit of water to my brush so that I can Blend that acrylic out and then it'll flow a little bit easier. And then I'll go down below and add that to the water. Gonna bring the horizon line up a little bit higher so that we have more foreground. So it feels like we're sitting here looking through the flowers down at that beautiful bridge view. And with a clean brush, I'm gonna come in with some blue now and a little bit of white. And I'm going to come off the left side and start swirling. Just going around that basic shape and design and building onto it. So this is one of those really relaxing 
types of paintings and you can see why I choose a gray uh, underpainting first. Looks really pretty with soft pastel colors. And I'm coming around the edge here with a little bit of either side, with a bit of the blue as well. And I can also take some blue violet, a little bit of that cool yellow and make a shade of turquoise. And I think I'm just gonna come right in here, sweep. Now you can use a smaller brush for this if you want. And it's also a good idea to just kind of have those days where you do nothing but play around with your brush and get really loose like this. It's a great exercise. And then I'll add a little bit in the water. So our horizon line is going to be right here. And then we're going to have our foreground here of all those beautiful bachelor button flowers. And I'm just going to kind of just flatten my brush again and get that nice narrow shape back. I'm just going to wiggle like that. And then I'm going to take a little bit of my cobalt blue and a little bit of black, a little bit of white. Bring it over here. A little bit more white. Just make a dark blue-gray color. And I'll come in with a horizon. So not halfway down the canvas. You're going to want to bring it up higher. And then I'm just going to come in with the rest of that, take some green, and add this here in the foreground. So we have everything kind of blocked in, and then as this dries, We'll work on our bridge and then by that time this will be dry and we can come in and begin adding our layers of grass and flowers. I'm going to go down a few sizes to a smaller filbert brush now and I'm just going to uh, define this area a little bit more to soften it. So I'm going to take a little bit more of my yellow, a little bit of the blue, and just make a soft turquoise again. You really want to apply the paint on the tip of your brush because that's really the only part of the brush that you want to be using for this step. And then I'm going to take some yellow and white and I'm going to add a brighter layer right here above the horizon line. I'll pick up a little bit of pink, what's left of my pink. Just add a little bit more down here. Get rid of that little chunky. Sometimes happens with acrylic paint as it dries. And Take a little bit more pink again. So 
so you can add as much or as little color as you want. I want my background to be softer like this, just with the pastel tones, and then come in with the bridge more in silhouette or this uh, dark charcoal color, and then really make the flowers uh, more in detail and uh, mostly the focal point to this painting. Okay, so I'm gonna just begin with going over this horizon line once more and just mixing up that blue, black, and white. Add a few little soft shadows down below. Brush is fairly dry. Clean up the top. Okay, and then mix those colors up again. And then you take a little bit of the blue violet as well. I just want a dark charcoal gray color. Okay, so we're gonna start with having it more over here, and it's gonna end right about there. So we're gonna start here. We're gonna bring Come up and then down and then sweep out down flat and then sweep over like that and go over with a little bit more paint need a little bit of water on my brush it's feeling a little dry And there's going to be a little area that comes down right there. A little square. If you want, you can use um, a flat brush for this as well. So I'm just going to take a little bit off there. And a little bit off there as well. It's really easy to take a bit of the paint off with a little bit of water on your brush okay and then the next step we're just going to come in add a little bit more white make a lighter gray and i'm going to start adding a few little Lines here, turning my brush this way. Go over about half an inch right here. And I'm going to cut through. Add another one really close to it, side by side. And then we're going to move down here and add another one that's lower. I'm going to go over with a little bit of black. Off to the right side of those lines. And then I'm going to add a few more little taps right in here. 
just all part of the structure and what's around. Rinsing my brush out, I'm going to take some white now. And just catch the edge, the left side of each of them. Got a little dab here, a few little dabs here as well. Okay, now I'm going to go back through the bridge to go a little bit more white, like that dark blue gray color again that I started out with and we're going to go through this one here so that gets set back on the other side and then we'll do the same with this one so the first one of each set of two the left one Have a little line here and a little one that goes across and connects to this one. I'm just going to use one of my round brushes with a fine tip, and it is a number three. I'm going to take some white and I'm going to go. And make that just stand out a little bit better. That bright highlight. This is just little bits of light coming in and highlights through the railing that you drive over onto the bridge. And I'm going to find my smallest flat brush, this teeny tiny one right here. And it says it's a number four. This one is by Lerman Decor. And I'm going to add the little thin rectangles that go across. So I'm going to grab a little bit of water, soften to make a light gray shade. Make sure I have it on the very tip of my brush. And I'm going to add four of these, one on the top, and then I'm going to go down Space that out about half an inch and then add a third one right there and then another one that's right about here Do the same thing on the other side. One at the top, another one right about there. This one's farther away, so I don't have to make it as visible. Now I'm going to use the same brush to create the uh, suspension 
with. So I'm going to go, first of all, with a little dab on either side. I'm going to go across. Just make a cross like this. And then from here, we're going to go down and scoop, down and scoop, down and scoop, and again. And then we'll see another one that goes low down off to the other side. And then we'll have the one here that comes down to this square. So we'll start at the top. We'll take a little bit more water on my brush so that it flows better. And then the next one. I'm going to take a little bit of white and I'm going to go inside those little gray squares and just soften this so it doesn't dry too dark. And again, through the darkest area because it's almost drying like to the point where it looks kind of black and I don't want it to look like that. I want it to look far away and more faded. I'm going to add a few little birds. I'm going to use one of my liner brushes for the birds. have some seagulls flying, take a little bit of black and make that dark gray again. And we're just gonna, I like to place my pinky. I'll do some that go like that, some that go up like this. Okay, then I'm going to go back over to my filbert brush and just come in with a little bit more yellow here on the top. Adding a little bit of water, see how much that helps fill in those little areas of the canvas that shows that pattern. Here's the pink that I'm using, and it just ran out, so I'm going to add just a little bit more here to my palette. up a little bit more. I'm going to line my brush up partially on the yellow and partially on the blue.
just add a little bit more color like that. And I'm gonna just go right underneath. I don't wanna have um, a mirrored reflection. I just want this to be very clean and separate. Just bringing a little bit of that white and yellow over top. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to continue using my filbert brush and I'm going to take both of my greens and I'm just going to start pulling in different directions so we feel that breeze of the water coming off the sea or the ocean. I'm also going to take a little bit of black because I want to bring my dark colors up a little bit higher with some flowers and tall pieces of grass. That'll really set our perspective that bridge farther back and bring the foreground closer to us. It's all about creating that mood. So sometimes you want to add, you want to change it up, right? And add some thicker pieces of grass and then some that are going to be skinny. So you can use this brush for both of those. You take a little bit of black to make this blend in a little bit better to our underpainting. That first layer of the dark charcoal. Just making sure we get the very bottom part of the canvas. And I'll take a little bit of white now, a little bit of that yellow, green, and add a few lighter shades. So I'm just going to use my little flat brush for the bachelor buttons and I'm going to start them with a little bit of cobalt blue and black and I'm going to add little ovals or circles We're going to have quite a few of them. Okay, 
Then the next layers are going to be a little bit of light blue violet and a little bit of the cobalt blue. And I'm just going to start by adding these little taps. It's not about painting every single flower petal. Remember that don't get caught up in that thought process or it's going to drive you nuts. It's how you see the painting as a whole. Just adding these little dabs with a dark blue and black center is all you need to do. I'll take a little bit of light blue and just tap, 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 tap. We have a lot of petals, so that's why it's not necessary to try and paint them all separately. I'll take a little bit of white with the blues. I'm not over mixing to make one color. I want to have a little bit of each color come out and that's going to make it have more highlights, shadows, and tones. These are one of my favorite flowers. And I love that they just, they're just wildflowers too. And some of them are going to be a little bit more of just blobs because not everything can be in full focus. So you want to have a little bit more blurry looking ones like this where you don't tap as much. So it's important to have both of the blues and the dark underpainting so that you have the shadow and then you have highlights. Of areas where there's going to be a bunch of them just kind of clumped together. You want it to look fairly realistic how flowers grow together. Not everyone is going to have as much white on it or blue. So change up the 
amount of blue and white you use for each of them. Okay, I'm going to come in with some more grass now and stems. Go back over to a liner brush. Take a little bit of those greens. Remember to add enough water to your brush when you're using a liner brush so that you can release the paint out fairly easy. And then there's some little buds that haven't opened yet. They're just little almond shaped. You can add a few of those, even just little dabs like this. Now I'll use this brush and demonstrate how you can also create a few little petals like this a little bit of white in with my blues. make this one a little bit bigger and facing us more so that we're going to see more of the, the center of the flower and we're just going to pull into it with a lot of short little pulls and flicks like this. I'm going to take more blue so that it's darker in here. Now I find the bachelor buttons to be more on the cobalt blue side but um there are different it depends on the soil that it's growing in right that'll determine the shade of your flowers so i have seen some that are more um on the purple side or periwinkle i actually like using this brush it's making some decent looking petals for the ones that are a little bit bigger and closer to us. You guys are enjoying this tutorial so far and um, planning on painting one yourselves. I always enjoy seeing your versions from my tutorials. It's really fun to see everybody's take on them and interpretation. You guys are all really, really talented too, by the way.
So see how much we've changed the, the feeling of where we are and the perspective of this by adding these larger ones here. And add a little bit of black inside this one. Do these actually just to make them stand out a little bit more. And then with a clean brush, I'll come in with some more stems. It's important to paint it in layers because there are so many layers in a grassy, flowery field like this. Take a little bit of white. And I'll continue along here with the blues. Painting them, trying to paint them in different directions. I'm going to have one right down here that goes off the canvas. See how you don't have to have a really steady hand to be able to paint. You can be a little loose and messy like this. Don't forget to add a little bit of black in the center. Unless you already have a dark area you're painting on. Okay, I'm going to add a few other little buds here and there. And they have just a little, when they're about to open, they have a little bit of blue on the tops of them. I'm going to just take a little bit of blue and a little bit of white and just come in and make a few pointy petals in the foreground.
And then lastly, a little bit of my hooker's green here with some white. So we add another green in here. That'll bring everything together. Okay, well, this painting is all done. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. Thanks so much for joining me again today for this. I really look forward to sharing all of my tutorials with you um, in the new year, 2023. Hope it's a good one for you guys and a creative one. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more if you haven't already and check out links below for Facebook groups, Instagram, and Patreon. Take care and I'll see you soon in another video. Bye!